hello and welcome to yet another exciting tutorial on this channel i am rafael adeyemo in today's video we are going to learn how to add subscription plan to our excel applications be it a software that you have created using excel vba or a spreadsheet workbook that you have created and you would want users to pay a subscription fee for the use of your workbook be it annually quarterly or any plan that they choose to sign on this is how the code works as soon as the workbook opens this file dialog box will pop up informing the user how many days that is left for the current subscription plan to end and also the exact date if the current subscription plan has ended and the user clicks ok the file will close and the user will not be able to use the workbook as you can see that no matter where you click on the workbook the file will not open for you but if there is still some days left for the current subscription plan to end and the user clicks on ok then the file or the software will then be open for the user to use let's click on ok so that the application will be open for us to use this is a mobile money accounting software for mobile money operators let us enter the pass the username and password you can see that since we still have some days left for our subscription to end we can still use this file or software i'll be making a demo to this system in subsequent videos let us exit and learn how we can add the subscription plan to our workbook. Open your Excel workbook or application that you wish to add the subscription plan to. Click on the developer tab and then come to visual basics and click on it. Since we would want the file dialog box to show as soon as we open this workbook, let us come here and then select this workbook. Let us now then come here to select workbook and the workbook open event will be created for us. Now let us write this declaration. Okay. And then declare this variable. We are only going to declare one variable and that is dim subscription as date and that is going to be our only variable subscription which is going to be the number of month that is the subscription plan that will be creating for our workbook this can be num one year, two years, three years, or even six months. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let us just take 31st December 2022 as a month. Okay. So this is... Let's put this in quotes. Then let's write this if statement. If date is greater than subscription, then now this if statement is going to satisfy two conditions. One being that when the subscription date is greater than the date, and then when the date is rather greater than the subscription date so let us write the else let us write else and then end if to end our if statement the date here means now the current day and time that the workbook is being opened let us step through it let's come here to see the date the date is 
we are on the 17th of December 2022 so this that is the date and then when we come to the subscription date it is set to 31st December 2022 now let us answer the second condition where the date will be less than the subscription date so we are going to write this as a condition So let us step through this code to see. Let's go. You see that it's saying that you have 14 days left to renew your subscription plan. Your subscription ends on 31st December 2022. Let us go back and then correct the mistake. You have that's left to renew your. First of all, let us add a space here so that there will be spacing between the sentences and then the days. Left. Let's go through. left to you renew your, your subscription ends on on so let's run it once more now you can see the separation you have your subscription ends on 12 31 2022 you have 14 days left to renew your subscription plan okay so that will be our second condition saying that when the subscription date is greater than the date then this condition will be satisfied what about if the date is greater than the subscription date what will be the condition that will be satisfied let us come here and say this has ended the develop This is where you can provide the URL to your website where users can download a fresh copy of your workbook after they have made payment to you. But in my case, I'm only going to provide my contact information here, which is going to be plus two, three, two.
BP critical and file well close so what this code here is saying that if the subscription has expired then the file will close let us step through to see subscription is greater is equal to 31st december okay we will still have the same old plan which is saying that we still have 14 days to renew our subscription plan now let us change the date here to just the 13th of december which is passed and then run the code again to see what happens one you see that now it satisfied this first condition and then let's continue to see you see your subscription has ended please contact the developer on your number or your url for the user to contact you on and then as soon as the user clicks ok the file will close now let us continue equal to false then dot close and then dot equal to true then What this code will do is that as long as the subscription date is now less than the date here this code will run and the workbook will close let us step through it once more application application okay let us step through then we'll be prompted with this file dialog box making it impossible for us to use this workbook so as soon as we click on ok if it was in the run mode file will close so let us click ok and then it will bring us back to our next line of code which is application the display alert false and then the active workbook close and application dot display alert true and then before i go on to step in to the code let me quit here and then add these few lines of code since this is a software i wouldn't want the workbook to be displayed but rather the user login form that would be displayed so let me put in this code here application dot visible equal to false and then down here login dot show so this is going to be Now let us step through the code to see what will happen. C 
say your subscription has ended please contact the developer on the number that has been provided and then let's click ok and then continue to step in now then it gives us this that the workbook closes even if the user tries to open the workbook again or take it to another computer the file will not open as long as the subscription date is less than the current date so he or she can try several times if you are not contacted for a fresh copy of your workbook that workbook will not open in this way you can add a subscription plan to your workbook and then make money out of it note that adding activation key is different from adding subscription plan to your workbook i'll be showing you how we can add activation key when we are creating an installer for our workbook if you are not subscribed to this channel yet please do so since i'll be creating more of such educative videos on this channel bye bye for now